welcome to the Pamunkey Regional Libraries Take and Make. This summer, our theme for summer reading is Tales and Tales. And our guy here is a manatee, and he has a tail too, doesn't he? So the manatee that you see here is one that we're going to show you how to make. We have kits that you can pick up at the library here in Atlee, and they will have all the items in the kit that you need to make your manatee. They have eyes, two gray flippers for the manatee's arm, strings, stuffing, right? Because we want to make our manatee nice and stuffed so that he looks big like a cow. Manatees are often called sea cows. And of course, our sock. Yeah, so when we get started, the basically the thing that you want to do first is take the eyes that you have and push them through the sock. So you'll have two eyes, whatever color comes in your kit. You want to put your hand into your sock and you're going to push holes into the sock with your eyes, basically pushing them in. And you can look at the top of it and kind of gauge where you think the eyes should be sort of on the sides of the face for the manatee because he's going to be a squish nose just like that. So you put our eyes in there and you pull them through and you put a back on them. It's plastic right here and smush that through the sock and that way it's nice and safe and it won't come off. And you want to do two of them, one on each side of his face because he has two eyes. And the next thing that you want to do is grab your stuffing. So we will grab our stuffing and we will start stuffing our manatee. And remember that this stuffing is pretty intense. It can be as fat as you want it to be. If you need more stuffing to make your manatee even fatter, you could always use old socks or old t-shirts to stuff him with. Anything at all works pretty well. And we want to get our stuffing into our manatee. So here we go. We start pushing it into the nose of the manatee, the first all the way down to the end where the nose is. And remember, the nanity has a pretty squishy big nose, so you want to get a nice amount of stuffing in the top part of the nose. So you see how I've got his nose going right here? Yeah, so if I put my hands around it, we're going to make a little string snout. How does he look, you think? Yeah, that looks pretty good, right? Okay, so now we want to get more stuffing to form the manatee's head and the rest of his body. So we just keep going with our stuffing until we're happy and we feel like he's stuffed as much as he should be. That makes us happy. So we get more in there. We just keep going with the stuffing. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. So when you come to the branch, you'll be able to pick up your kit. And again, you can stuff it with other things too. You can use cotton balls, old socks, old t-shirts, whatever you like if you want to make him thicker and plumper. It's totally up to you because it is your manatee. Now I've got a little bit more here and I'm kind of separating the fibers a little so that it plumps it up some. Makes it a little bit more fat. And we push it inside the sock. All right. So this is looking pretty good. Now we've got our manatee pretty well stuffed. Make sure all the stuffing goes in there. You don't want any to fall out on you. Just like that. Now we want to take a look at our flippers that we had in our kit. So you want to go ahead and cut your flippers edge out around the marked space and you can cut right next to it and cut off the black line if you want to or you can leave it if you'd like to it's totally up to you yeah and then we just keep cutting just like that and we do the same over here on this one we trim up our manatees flippers and the interesting thing about manatee flippers is if you look at the manatee skeleton it almost looks pretty much like a hand. And of course, when you pick up your kit, there'll be some instructions on one side of a piece of paper, and then the other side will have some fun facts about manatees. One of them 
will be what we just said a few minutes ago. Manatees are also called what? What's another name for manatees? Sea cow, that's right, very good. So now we wanna take a look at our manatee and we wanna go ahead and look at his snout. Well, it looks pretty good. So we wanna take your hand around here, wrap it around nice and, and snug, and then fluff up the stuffing a little bit more. And you wanna go ahead and take your string and tie it around the snout. And I always tie it underneath. That way you can tie, take the edges of the string and snip them under the neck of the manatee so it's not so visible. So you put it here, make a little knot in your string. And remember, if you need help from your, your family members or your caregivers, it's not a big deal. You just ask them to put their finger there on it for you. It can help you. So we got his snout right there like that. Kind of stuff it where you see his nose, just like so. Put two little fingers in there. Mm -hmm. And then the next part of our manatee kit is to put our flippers on. So we want to take a look at our flippers and say, well, which way do they go? And remember they're arms, so you want to see where they would fit on the body as arms, just like so. Now you can use regular glue if you want to, or tacky glue. I also like to use hot glue because it seems to work pretty well, but if you're going to use hot glue, you want to do it with a friend who is an adult, right? You want to do it with your mom or your dad or your grandma or your caregiver so that you don't burn yourself. We don't want anybody to get burnt because the hot glue guns are hot by right in their name is hot, right? <laughs> All right, so let me go ahead and plug in my hot glue gun and I'll come back. Okay, so while we've got our hot glue warming up, what's the next thing that we want to do? Well, let's take a look at our model. Our model manatee has a little face on it. You could do this with paint or crayon even, but the easiest thing I've found is a Sharpie. It's a good old fashioned Sharpie. And you can use silver if you want to, or black. Um, and you want to make it look like he has a little snout for his nose and whiskers and a little mouth. And of course you can decorate your manatee how you want to once we get him in there. But we do want to get his head a little bit fatter because he is a sea cow after all, isn't he? So we want to stuff it a little bit more. And it's a little tricky, but you can move your hand in there and try and get some more stuffing around his head. There we go. Just like that. Stuff him and fluff him up a little bit. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just like that. And now that we've got him a little bit fluffier, hopefully, we can go ahead and figure out where we want to put his arms. The best way to do that is to look at it from the top. And you can figure out where you think the arms might be. We squished our head just as so. And so the arms are probably going to be right around here, aren't they? We don't want to put them too far back because that looks a little silly. But it's totally up to you whether you want to put them. So you want to glue them on one left, one right flipper. And you can see that they're shaped in the right direction because when you pick them up, it's like a pair of hands that match. See? Yeah. All right, so let's get our glue gun. And remember to get some help with your glue gun. You want to put some hot glue on the tips of the flippers because that's what we're going to glue on are the flippers. So we've got our first flipper. And again, double check where you want to put your your arms or flippers for your manatee to make sure that you've, you think it's the right spot before you glue it on because it's hard to pull it off if you've already glued it on. So we got our flippers here. And you can pull it when it's a little hot still and just kind of move it if you need to. And then squish it to the fabric. Squish it to your sock. Then you got another one right here. Put some more hot glue on that guy. Just like that. Again, or tacky glue, totally up to you, whatever you want to use. But you do need to get help if you're using a hot glue gun. And then measure it so it's just on the other side opposite of your manatee. Now you want to let that sit for a few minutes while it dries. And then we'll come back and decorate the nose. Now we've attached our flippers. So the manatee has some flippers or arms, as we might say. He's got a little snout, just like so and a head. 
So the next thing that we want to do is draw a face on him, right? And if we take a look at our, our little model here, you can see the snout is in the darker gray area. So you take a little squish right here with your two fingers. And that is where your snout will be. I know it's hard to see on this guy. So we just draw a little bit of some dots for whiskers. Do, do, do. How many whiskers you like is up to you. Little black circle at the top for a nose. All right, little openings for that. More whiskers if you want. And then we need to draw our mouth, don't we? You see how there's a little mouth there? So you put one side along like this, pull it over, and then the other side, just like that. So he's got his mouth, or her. And you can, of course, name your manatee whatever you want to name it. There we go. You can go with Molly or Madison or Madeline's another name, right? The manatee. <laughs> All right, so now we've got our manatee looking pretty good. The only other thing that we usually do in this situation is we want to make his tail look a little flatter, don't we? So we can push that up, and this little part here will be the actual tail. And the easiest thing to do is to use some more of that glue gun that we were talking about. So you open it up with your fingers, squirt some glue gun in there, or tacky glue, totally up to you. Then we gently press it with our fingers closed, just like that. And then the next part to our manatee, of course, is if you want to, you can take a pair of scissors and round off the manatee's tail. Because when you look in nature, manatees' tails are round, aren't they? Need a better scissors. <laughs> so we're working on it, guys. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. And then just make a little round circle on the tail. You know, you just kind of round off the edges pretty much. Just like that. Yeah. And now we have our manatee. Ta-da! What do you think? Pretty cute, right? <laughs> All right. I hope you guys come by and pick up your manatee kit this summer that you can take home and make at home. And don't forget to join us for summer reading, Tales and Tales. You can sign up online or you can do it in person at the library. Thanks and have a good day. Bye. <laughs>